Have you ever thought about making your own braces? Time for some PFO so you know where you're going. Hey everybody, welcome back. It's a good day here in McKinney, Texas. Yes, I'm in the, well, it's actually my orthodontic office, but I also consider it my YouTube studio where we produce content for you lovers of straight teeth and beautiful bites. So today I found this video online of an individual who made their own braces. Can you believe it? You didn't think it was possible. Think of all the thousands and millions of dollars she saved because of this effort. So let's react to these braces. One, today I'm going to be showing you how to make fake braces. We're gonna be starting out with the standard small paper clip. It's important to use a smaller one instead of a large one because the beads can't fit through the larger one. Wow, the music is so peaceful. I don't think that most people that go through orthodontic treatment are that much at peace when we're putting the braces on or taking them off or the drill comes out. But I appreciate that. Standard paper clip. Okay, you can do a lot of things with a standard clip paper clip. I didn't know that you could make fake braces with them. That's impressive. Very ingenuity. Or if you can keep a paper clip on hand, like in Penguins of Madagascar, it can definitely come in handy. Here, I've taken a paper clip and unfolded it into a U-shape. Yes, well done, okay? All the wires, all right, they are made, a lot of them are made from stainless steel or some combination, different materials, including nickel, and some wires are really flexible. This would represent one of our steel wires. So it kind of, it can be a little tricky to, you know, get that to be a nice, U shape. This represents the arc form. Well done. The arc form that gives you like a broad smile. Back in the day, orthodonts actually had to bend these wires, these straight wires into the arc form that they wanted you to have. Nowadays, with technology and the upgrades that we've all made, they come. some of these wires come pre-fabricated or pre-formed. Still, the orthodontist, you know, maybe pays attention to, you know, how broad they want to make it, right? The, the, the skinnier the arc form, the smaller it is and the broader it is is, the, the, the bigger the smile. Everybody loves the big smile. What we have learned with big, 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 broad smiles, it's not a very stable, it's not a very stable result. If you don't have retainers, those teeth, when you kind of pull them all out to make that nice broad smile, if you don't have a retainer, those teeth are just collapse, probably. But well done here. Good technique or good eye. Just that the paper clip fits comfortably in your mouth. Here, I have a job. She is going the distance. She put that thing in the mouth. Make sure if you do something like that, clean. Bar of sea beads from a Native American friendship bracelet kit, but you can buy them separately at any art store. Check to see how many of your teeth are visible when you smell. This is the number of beads we're going to be using. Okay, so right here you can see in the picture, a lot of people just want to straighten their front teeth. We call it the social six in orthodontics. And you know, that's not necessarily a bad choice. In the orthodontic profession, we consider what, what we, we like to move teeth or we like to at least provide you with what we consider the ideal from an entire, right? All of your teeth and your bite. But you know, this is exactly what people see. The front six are the most, you know, present before you eyes. For me, I can see six teeth, so I'm putting six beads to the wire. Check to see how far the beads are gonna be when they're on your teeth. For me, the beads are about a centimeter apart. In the measurements, the colors, some brackets have like colors. I have seen some brands out there of brackets that actually are coming like designs, like shapes, stars, hearts. Not every office uses that. We don't use that, sorry. We do have colors. Here she's using beads to represent the braces. They slide over the wire. How cool is that? So here I've laid the beads about a centimeter apart on a paper plate. And now we're gonna take a non-toxic super glue and use it to glue the beads onto the wire. And don't worry guys, super glue won't break down in your mouth for three to four weeks. And since we're only gonna be using this for Halloween, we should be fine. Okay, it comes out. We're making the fake braces for Halloween. She's using super glue. I'm glad she mentioned that it's non-toxic. Well, obviously, if you know, do too much and it's there too long, lots of different things can be bad for your body. So just, you know, be careful. If you're a young child watching this, make sure you talk to your mom and dad before you do anything or you put anything in your mouth that you're not sure about. Apply this generously all over the beads. Make sure the beads don't get stuck on the plate though. 
in orthodontics, right, when you come see us, each bracket, okay, in this case represented by a bead, the way that we get it to, we actually don't stick it to the wire, okay, the brackets don't stick to the wire, or they're not glued to the wire, because we change the wires, right, that's how you get your teeth to move more and more and more and more, right, you start with a really flexible wire, and then as your teeth straighten out, you can get a straighter wire that's more rigid to help us control and put little twists and bends in them, it's so fun. So what we do is we actually glue the bracket to your teeth, we don't use super glue, all right, use another type of adhesive. There's a really famous company, not that you care, but in case you do, Reliance is an excellent company that produces adhesive products that allow us to glue bands or brackets to the teeth. And then at the very end, it is not a permanent adhesive, so you can pop that off. Wait a few minutes for the super glue to dry. Even her plate is so like, you know, just peaceful flowers. The colors are awesome. This is starting to look really good. Okay, this is gonna sound kind of weird, but scratch off the extra glue on the wire. I don't think that's weird. Even though this is non-toxic glue, we still want to scratch it off to be on the safe side. Besides, you want your wires to look really clean. I agree with this. Cleanliness is important, all right? With braces, your teeth can get really dirty and make it hard to clean. You have got to keep your braces clean if you want to avoid puffy, bloody red gums. Using a pair of pliers, we're going to be bending the ends of the wire up into an L shape. Those are some heavy duty pliers. We don't use those. <laughs> we use orthodontic specific pliers, but they're very close to that, all right? And in case you have an emergency, I'm sure there are many of you out there who have had wires poking you and things like that, and you busted out the at home pliers and you kind of, you know, work it back into a better position. So it's not crazy. This is so that when we wear the braces, we won't cut our mouth. Yes, wires can cut you, poke you. That is one of the advantages to the Invisalign system. There's not a lot of poking going on there. All right, I'm just gonna, you know, this young lady is doing an awesome job. I am gonna point out that if you are trying to bend, as you learn in ortho school, you actually hold the pliers still and you use your thumbs to bend the wire around where the plier is gripping. In this case, she's using the plier, holding the wire and using the plier to kind of like twist things around. But you know what, for not going to ortho school, not bad, it's a pretty good bend. <laughs> if you're thinking, whoa, she's like wanting to bend it to not poke it. Well, sometimes, yeah, the wire gets bent up and it goes like right into the gum. So let's see what she's going to do. Now we're going to be taking part of the wire that's stuck up and bend it back down to make it kind of look like a swan's neck. A swan, a swan's neck. Actually, what she's doing right now, she's trying to create a loop. So yeah, she bent it up and you're like, oh my gosh, it's gonna poke me. Well, yeah, you don't wanna leave it too high. If it's, if it's if it bends up and it's really short, usually it's around the bracket so much that it, it doesn't bother you. But if it's like way up high, long like that, as you all know, wires feel so good when they're poking into your cup. Anyways, she's bending a loop. It looks kind of like a swan's neck. She bent it up and then she's gonna bend it back down. Keep pressing down and be patient. He needs steady hands like a surgeon to do this. Like a surgeon? What about an orthodontist? We can do that. Sometimes those surgeons, they always one-up us. And don't worry about messing up. It took me a few tries to do this right too. Look at that. I'm gonna be doing- There's the loop. And the same to the other side. Also guys, remember, if you have pliers as rusty as mine, be sure to wash your braces with warm water and soap. I think that's an excellent point. And remember, if you're putting anything in your mouth besides food that your mom and dad are giving you, I recommend that you counsel with them to make sure that it is okay that you can do this. Let's check one more time to make sure that it fits well. And now we're gonna use orthodontic wax to put on the braces. You guys love orthodontic wax, the lifesaver, right? Actually, sometimes it's really hard to get the wax to stay in the right spot so the wires don't poke you. You take the wax and you stick it on there. I feel like I'm from Santa. First, you take the molo. Then, <laughs> that's a great one. But yeah, ortho wax, right? Very, very creative. 
You can get this orthodontic wax at any drugstore, or you can ask a friend who has braces. So here, I've taken about a stick of wax and put it on each end. And now, let's try them on. And now we're done. Wow, bravo, bravo. The wax on the side, that's what's helped holding your teeth. So this is not a permanent solution and it's not gonna straighten your teeth, but it is definitely gonna work for Halloween. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Good luck. Music by J.S. Bond. Performed by Kevin McLeod. Pre-Cleveland C. There you have it. That's how you, or well, at least one way, can make fake braces. Again, it's not gonna, not gonna fix your teeth, but it's gonna be great for Halloween. So if you're interested in the real deal, braces, Visalign, straighten your teeth, beautify your bites, come find us in McKinney and Anna, Texas so that we can talk about the different colors that we have and how to all Workout. Thanks again to this young lady. She did an excellent job with the tutorial. Fine bending skills, very colorful fake braces. I hope she had fun. Hey, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel so that we can open your eyes to the wonderful world of straight teeth and beautiful bites. That's all I've got, just a little PF Bowen, so you know where you're going. Packard.